are different types of interviews like job interviews then we have interviews for collecting data and then we have media interviews but today's topic is only about interviews that are re related to job procedure so first comes the definition an interview is a formal and in-depth conversation between interviewer and interviewee the exchange the desired information which checks the interviewer's capabilities so uh, you should know what is an interviewer Interviewer is the person who takes the interview like an employer of a company and interviewer is the person who is there for giving interview. An interview is a source of accurate information of the interview only when it is handled carefully. It's a significant element of the entire selection procedure of a candidate and most of your job selection based, uh, is based on your interview. It serves as the basis of examining interviews job related proficiency, abilities and technicality. An interview is a structured conversation where employers ask questions and the interviewer provides answers. And it's not at all about your uh, giving answers to your employer, it's about your communication skills, how you manage to give answers to your employer. Then we come towards the objectives of interviews. Uh, they help to verify the exactness of the provided facts and data by the candidate. Before interview, obviously you send your CV or resume to the company, they go through all that and then they call you for an interview and it's just a step for verification for whatever you have already sent there. The interviewer uh, helps to obtain the additional set of abilities or information of the interviewee. The interview checks the candidate's suitability for the job. It provides general and necessary facts and information about the job in the company. Moreover, an interview gives an insight into the candidate's analytical knowledge and creativity they possess. And the next point is that mm, it gives explanation about the job role uh, at the time of interview. The interviewer tells the company's expectations from him or her, the new employee. Through the interview process, the recruiter gets to know about the candidate's skills and lacks the potential abilities so that they could be trained. Information flows from both directions and the interviewee gets to know about the company and the employer. Mm, one important point here is that the interview is not only the employer asking questions and the interviewer is giving answers. No, the interviewee can also ask questions regarding salary, regarding job description and his expectations from the company. Uh, moving on to the next point that is stages of an interview. So it has five stages, introduction, small talk, information gathering, question answers, and wrapping up. Let's discuss introduction. Introduction is one of the most important steps in the interview process. The introduction is where both the candidate and the company will making their first impression. It may surprise some companies to learn that they should be concerned about making a great first impression. So how does one make great uh, first impression? The good news is that it's not complicated. Greet the candidate with a smile, shake hands, and always remember to be courteous. It's a simple strategy, but it's often all you need to when it comes to making a great first impression. Present the company in a positive light. If your company is known to be a tough place to work, be honest, but not discouraging. Be as transparent as possible during the interview process. So it's uh, more about the impression of the company. Then we have the small talk. After introductions are finished, it's a good idea to conduct a bit of small talk with the candidate. Small talk is important because it's one of the best methods to foster a healthy working relationship and build rapport. When it comes to picking topics for this stage of the interview process, try to find something that the candidate is interested in. This can be as easy as taking a quick look at their LinkedIn or Facebook profiles and seeing what their interests are. It's amazing how much of a difference it can make by taking just a few minutes to connect with the candidate on a personal level. So it's just that you are making a compatibility with the candidate or with the possible candidate for the company. Don't attempt to talk about anything serious like religion or politics as the interview will likely turn into an awkward mess as a result. Keep the discussion positive. Remember, you're just trying to gauge if the candidate will be a pleasant person to work with or help them to see themselves working at your company. The third one is information gathering. After small talk comes a bit of information gathering or in other words, asking the candidate to give you their elevator pitch. This is an important step because it showcases just how prepared or unprepared the candidate is and tests their ability to think on their feet. So this step is practically involved with 
the candidate. While the candidate is giving you their elevator pitch, it's important to pay, clo uh, to pay close attention. Is their speech organized? Is it concise? Does the candidate sound confident about their abilities and qualifications? What's their body language like when they are speaking? So these are all the important items to keep track of as they will often provide you with all you need to know about what kind of employee this candidate will be. Then we have the question answer session in the interview. An interview is essentially a two-way exchange of ideas and the candidate will be interviewing your company just as much as you will be interviewing them. Come up with some standardized questions that all of the interviewers ask the candidate. This helps in two ways. First, it makes sure that is at least some common ground between the different interviewers when it comes to, when it is the time to evaluate the candidate. And second, you will know how truthful the candidate is in their responses by seeing how much their answers change between interviewers. In addition to having questions prepared beforehand, it's useful to think about how you might answer a tough question from a candidate. As fumbling with your words during an interview will make your company look incompetent and dishonest. During this stage, if the candidate does have very tough questions about the company, it's always a safe bet to be honest and to present the company in a positive light while still being truthful. Just like when you ask a candidate what their biggest weakness is, is and they spin it into a positive. You can also do it with questions about your company. The final stage of the interview is wrapping up. Here you are going to sum up all the discussions. Closing out an interview is just as important as the other stages. Just as having a first great impro impression is important, leaving the candidate feeling good about the company and its culture is key to hiring the top talent in your industry. At the very least, always end the interview with a handshake and thank the candidate for their time. It's also a good idea to give them a quick tour of the office if you didn't do that when they first came in. Be sure to walk the candidate out. Not only does this ensure that they don't get their nose into anything they are not supposed to, it can be very frustrating and embarrassing as a candidate to have a mindlessly wandered the office trying to remember where the exit is. Last but not the least, send a follow-up email. Whether you are interested in the candidate or not, it's important to be courteous and thankful that somebody took time out of their day to interview at your company. Candidates can leave a bad review of the interview process on glass door, so be sure everybody walks away from your interview process feeling respected. So all these five stages, they are not only related to the interviewer or the employer, they are also related with the candidate. If you are going for an interview, you have to have a very good introduction. You have to be engaged in a small talk, in obviously initiated by your employer. And then uh, you are going for the question answer session. And in the wrapping up, try to, give, uh, try to give a very good impression about yourself. Then we come towards types of interviews. As I already told you that all these interviews we are going to talk about here are related to job process. So uh, we have different categories here. Job interviews, first of all, we are going to describe uh, what is a job interview and then different forms of interviews like face-to-face -face interviews, campus, on-campus and on-site interview and telephonic interview. What is a job interview? A job interview is an interview consisting of a conversation between a job applicant and a representative of an employer which is conducted to assess whether the applicant should be hired. The job interview is considered one of the most useful tools for evaluating potential employees and it can be on campus, on site, or telephonic or online. Then we are moving towards face to face interview. That is, you are going to have a face to face interaction with the employer or any representative of the employer. We can also call it FNF interviews conducted by trained interviewers who use a standardized interview protocol and a standardized set of responses for recording participants' responses. Advantages of face-to-face -face interviews are the ability to control interactions to ensure that the targeted participants is the respondent and to ask complex questions and to use probe mechanism. And one can have accurate screening regarding age, gender, and race. You can keep focus and observe verbal and non-verbal cues through body language. Then we have on-campus and on-site interview. There are two different types of interviews. On-site simply refers to an interview on the employer's site. Some employers conduct interviews on campus through on-campus 
uh, as a part of on campus job fair so they uh, the employers they don't call the interviews to their office or their, to their sites they just go to the campus and have job fairs there and then they have a uh, small interviews from different potential candidates uh, if they are interested in the candidates they can call them for on site interview in that case the on site interview could be the next step after a successful on campus interview and other employers don't visit the campus so an on site interview could be the first interview or the next step after a phone or skype interview call the main purposes of on campus interviewing are twofold the employers get to know uh, the students on personal level and are able to identify the best students to receive invitation for an on site interview on the other hand the students have the opportunity to learn more about the employers through the exchange of information the purpose of an on site interview is to give both you and the employer a chance to see whether or not you are right fit for each other the interviews can learn about your personality and motivations through a series of meetings and see how you interact with potential coworkers and supervisors you can see the work environment and culture first hand and evaluate the people you might be working for and with the last one is telephonic interview so some companies prefer telephonic interview and it is conducted definitely over the phone and is economical and less time consuming through these interviews the company can select promising persons for the job its main objective is to limit the list of candidates and appoint only the best ones there are actually more accurate than one to one interviews for judging interviews intelligence and interpersonal skills because here no body language is involved the candidates are usually surprised by the unexpected call from the recruiter this is another advantage of telephonic interview and interview slots range from 10 to 30 minutes a large part of communication is not visual and as they can't see your body language it's critical to have positive and sharp answers deliver with the high spirit so this is all about uh, job interviews and different forms uh, in which they can be conducted